innocents gunned down and hearts shattered tonight after a horrific shooting inside a Texas elementary school. More than 20 people murdered, 19 of them kids, kids in the second, third and fourth grades, two teachers and the shooter's grandmother also killed. Tonight we are learning more about those victims, including 10 year old Javier Lopez. He was in the fourth grade and Eva Morales, a fourth grade special education teacher and educator for 17 years, as well as a mother and her husband, a school police officer for the Uvalde district. They were gunned down at Robb Elementary in Uvalde, Texas, about an hour west of San Antonio. The gunman, 18 year old Salvador Ramos, uh, Uvalde high school senior is dead. Reportedly killed by law enforcement, investigators say he shot his own grandmother before driving off, crashing into this nearby ditch, opening fire on law enforcement, reportedly with an assault rifle, and then going right into that school. Now, just days after addressing the nation regarding the mass shooting in Buffalo, New York, President Joe Biden at the podium again tonight asking the country, why are we willing to live with this carnage? I am sick and tired of it. We have to act. And don't tell me we can't have an impact on this carnage. To lose a child is like having a piece of your soul ripped away. There's a hollowness in your chest. You feel like you're being sucked into it and never going to be able to get out. And remember, the president speaking from personal experience, his son Bo died seven years ago this week from cancer. An impassioned plea on the floor of the U.S. Senate as well. As Senator Chris Murphy of Connecticut, a lead Democrat in the fight for more gun regulation, spoke directly to his colleagues today. Why do you spend all this time running for the United States Senate? Why do you go through all the hassle of getting this job, of putting yourself in a position of authority? If your answer is that as this slaughter increases, as our kids run for their lives, we do nothing. What are we doing? So many of us as parents are frustrated tonight. A tragedy like this, it impacts all of us.